This video is part of the course that is batch processing with Spring Batch and Spring Boot. Link for the course is given in the description. While working with Spring Batch, there are two things important. One is job and another one is step. So let's go for it. Let's take the real world example of banking that we have seen in one of the previous lectures. So here we are doing the batch processing of transactions. Similar kind of task, right? Doesn't matter if we have one transaction, thousands of or millions of transactions. We are doing batch processing. So this is one job in Spring Batch. Now in Spring Batch, a job can have multiple steps. In this example, the very first step is communicate with other bank. Because we know, right, the other user belongs to another bank, right? So this is step one. Now other step is debit the money from the customer's account. The third step is notify the user either using SMS or email. So these three are steps, three different steps. So first this step one will get executed after that step two and after that step three will get executed. So in Spring Batch, it's all about job and step. A job can have multiple steps, but it is not necessary that job needs to have multiple steps. Okay. It depends on your requirements. Say, for example, you just have one task. Okay. And that can be completed within one step. That's fine. A job can have single step as well. Okay. It's up to you how you want to design your job and steps. So this is job and step in context of Spring Batch. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. Do you want to learn Spring Batch? If yes, then I am having complete course on it. In this course, you will learn Spring Batch in detail. You will learn what is job and step provided by Spring Batch. In this course, you will learn Tasklet step and chunk oriented step in detail. You will learn item reader, item processor and item writer with example. In this course, you will learn how to launch a job using REST API and how to schedule a job using Spring Scheduler. There are different item readers provided by Spring Batch. In this course, you will learn flat file item reader, JSON item reader, XML item reader, JDBC item reader and many more. Just like item reader, Spring Batch provides different item writers. In this course, you will learn flat file item writer, JSON item writer, XML item writer, JDBC item writer and many more. Fault tolerance is very important while working with Spring Batch and that's what this course covers. In this course, you will learn how to skip the bad records and how to capture the bad records while reading, processing and writing the data. You will also learn retry mechanism provided by Spring Batch. This course covers real time use case that is database migration. In this course, you will learn how to migrate from Postgres to MySQL database using Spring Batch. And for this purpose, we will use JP Item Reader and JP Item Writer. So what are you waiting for? Link for the course is given in the description. Just click on that and start learning Spring Batch with Spring Boot. So that's all for now and we'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.